everyone and welcome back to another segment of Cisco Networking's Ask the Expert video series. Today we'll be talking about Cisco Nexus dashboard and what it can do for customers. Today to talk us through it is Vice President of Product Management of Cloud Networking, Thomas Scheib. So Thomas, let's start at the top. What is Nexus dashboard? Hey, yeah, thanks Jasmine and uh, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, happy to answer, answer questions on Nexus dashboard. Nexus dashboard is what I call an automation and operations uh, platform, uh, really targeted at the networking team, at the network operations team. Uh, it's the one place to go for them to operate, monitor, troubleshoot, manage their cloud networking infrastructure. And really when I say in one place to go, is you basically have all the tools that, that you need as an operator in your day-to-day -day life, how to manage that infrastructure, whether this is a network you run in your own data center, whether this is the instance you might have in uh, AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, or somewhere else in the, in the co-location. Nexus Dashboard gives you that one front end for the service you need uh, to bring up infrastructure, to maintain infrastructure, to monitor infrastructure, to have integration with other operations teams. That in a nutshell is, is what Nexus Dashboard is. So what are the problems and challenges that Cisco Nexus Dashboard can solve for customers? And can you also walk us through some use cases? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so as I said, the dashboard is the one place for the operator to go. So if you, if you think through the, the daily activity, uh, what an operator needs to do uh, with, their, with their cloud network infrastructure. So there's a whole set of things. One is, how do I apply a change of configurations uh, across my different instances? Again, whether these are uh, cloud networking instances running, let's say, in AWS, or these are instances running in my own data center. And I need to apply, let's say, uh, a new application I want to roll out. It needs to go on the right segment, so I need to use uh, um, deployment policy to structure the right virtual network across uh, the infrastructure to put that application in. So that's one of the things you can do using the orchestrator function on Nexus Dashboard. The other item that, that uh, or the other use case that, that operators quite frankly have, they need to look on doing a change, right? Whether this is adding um, a firewall port for an app or you know turning a port up or down. And so what Dashboard allows them to do this was the insights function is actually doing a pre-change validation to make sure before they apply the change that actually really nothing goes wrong and they know the outcome before they apply. So this is actually a really, really cool feature that is in Dashboard. And then the other things and part of Insights really also is a lot of just monitoring of the infrastructure, just making sure there's an understanding if it's running the way it should be running, uh, if it's compliant, if it's conformant, and just having basically the finger on the pulse, so to speak, as an operator of your infrastructure knowing at any time that it's running smoothly and delivering the services that the user of the network infrastructure is really looking for, which is the, the application team, the security team, and the larger organization. So that's the, the set of things you can do. And I just obviously touched on a few use cases. There are probably hundreds and hundreds of things you can do on that dashboard. But again, key pieces is the orchestration feature and then obviously the insights capability uh, for the network operator. So with a more distributed workforce, we've seen that Cisco is all about hybrid cloud. So how does Nexus dashboard operate in this space? So if you, if you look at the uh, the workforce, I mean, to your point, uh, we work these days uh, from pretty much everywhere. We call it basically hybrid. Uh, and, and what you also see analogous to this is on the on the application side was what companies deploy is clearly highly distributed, right? It's the, you have some of the, of your, of your workload sitting in your own uh, data center. Some of them you just put in public clouds. Some of you might be in, in colo environment. And really what, what, a, what a cloud networking team looks like is saying, I don't want to have different islands to manage. I want to manage this consistently. And so this is what we're calling the hybrid cloud, right? It's literally, it's not just the location, but it's really managing as, as one, having a view across these different properties. You have basically watch your cloud. Wherever, wherever it sits. And so what, what Nexus Dashboard really is giving you uh, that capability to look at the whole universe of your cloud networking infrastructure. Uh, one of the things you see uh, uh, if you look onto the dashboard is something we call one view. You can literally look at the world map and say, oh, where do I have my networking, cloud networking assets, right? Do I have them in my own data center? Do I have them in AWS? Do I have them in Azure? Do I have them in, in Google Cloud? 
and I can look at that infrastructure from one point. So I really at any time uh, have a complete view uh, across my, my cloud networking infrastructure. Really, really important piece because again, uh, with the way we operate today as users as well as where the, the workload sits is highly distributed. And as an operator, you want a set of tools that allows you to manage that uh, without basically uh, having to deal with complexity. Really what the point is of the Nexus dashboard is make complexity simple from a user perspective and make it a great experience. That's great. And I think a lot of network operation teams can relate to that. What about other users and personas? Can they also use Nexus dashboard? Yeah, I know you bring up a really good point. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the dashboard is really Focus very heavily on the network operations team and, and you know make how to make their, their daily life simpler. But clearly the way it's built, it has uh, a lot of APIs uh, and you can actually embed this into uh, the workflow. How do you want to run your IT infrastructure from an IT operations perspective? And so that goes beyond the network operations team. It's clearly uh, relevant uh, for the larger IT ops team. Uh, it's relevant for the application and platform teams. One of the examples what, what comes to us in Nexus Dashboard is the ability to uh, basically embed this as part of an infrastructure as code approach, which typically stands for that the application team defines what infrastructure needs they have for the application, and then can literally write a program that says for this application to run, I need to program this infrastructure. And Nexus Dashboard provides those APIs, so you can actually literally use tools like uh, Terraform from HashiCorp or uh, Ansible from Red Hat, to actually program your infrastructure, leveraging a dashboard orchestration function uh, as an application team to make it happen. And so really in this case, the network operation team really becomes a service provider of network functions to the platform and, and app teams, and they can use it themselves. They basically can program what they need and the operations team, the network operations teams, make sure it's available and can be used uh, at any time. So that's one example where uh, it is centric around the network ops team, but it can be exposed uh, to other uh, user personas in the IT organization to uh, change how they want to deploy and manage the infrastructure in general. Many different APIs means a lot of more functionality. I heard that there were some cool integrations with Thousand Eyes and App Dynamics with Cisco Nexus dashboard. What does that enable, and what are some new innovations to come? APIs are a really great thing because what they do is they just allow other teams to to basically program infrastructure and take advantage of um, the Nexus dashboard capabilities in a very programmatic way. So you touched on two two additional things that we have done: integration with Thousand Eyes and App Dynamics. Let me let me start with Thousand Eyes. Um, what people really like Thousand Eyes for is an ability to see where there are issues in the larger network, not just in your own uh, network that you as a network operations team typically control, but if you have a distributed environment, you have to go over the WAN. You have to look at, uh, is my instance in Azure reachable or in AWS reachable, or you know, just, just the recent you know, company that had some DNS issue. You, the first thing you look at the Stars and Ice is like, where are the issues in the network, in the global network? And so what we have done is we have integrated with Stars and Ice, so as a, Cloud networking operator, you can now pinpoint not just uh, with insights, Nexus Dashboard insights, what's going on in your own data centers. We can look at saying, hey, is there a connectivity issue, network connectivity issue between my data center and an AWS instance or an Azure instance or uh, whatever other colo provider you might have? So it's really a very, very elegant way to have instant visibility across your own cloud networking infrastructure as well as the things you're writing on top of, so to speak. So that's what Thousand Eyes gives. It's it's very, very neat tool and integration. Uh, and what we make basically uh, easy is for a customer to place these agents on your network edge, the one that you control, and then actually look at through the Thousand Eyes integration at connectivity across the whole infrastructure. So that's Thousand Eyes. AppD, similar idea, again, is the idea of how do I get additional data that is relevant uh, for the network operations team. In the AppDynamics integration case, what we do is uh, we basically bring the data from AppDynamics to Nexus Dashboard and quite frankly, the other way around. And so, but let me focus on the first one. Data from AppDynamics, which tells you the location of the application, where it sits behind what network port, whether this is a server, whether it's a virtual machine, whether this is a container environment. 
I can see now as a networking person where the app's sitting and I have additional information from AppDynamics, whether there's an application performance issue or not. And now as a network operator, I can correlate, I actually can figure out, is the network the root cause for the application performance issue or is it not? And so that makes it much easier for the application team and the network operations team to work together and figure out where the real issues are. Uh, so that's one of the great, great use cases of, of uh, bringing together app dynamics and network dashboard. So then to your last point, you asked, so where are we going? As you, as you can see, the idea behind dashboard and these integration is to make it easier and simpler for all the operations team to deliver a service and deliver an experience uh, for the user. And so what we're looking forward and where we do more integration is really providing a richer context and a richer predictability around the infrastructure. So the operations teams, whether it's the NetOps team or the DevOps team or the platform ops teams uh, have an easy life to predict the service level that they want to deliver. And if there are issues, it's an easier way to troubleshoot and make it, make it easier to maintain, quite frankly, the service level they committed to the organization. Wow, that's pretty cool, Thomas. Thank you so much for being here and sharing all of these valuable insights about Cisco Nexus dashboard and what it can do for customers. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, you can definitely check out cisco.com slash go slash nexus dashboard.